Autopsy doctors, what was the biggest revelation you had to a person's death? I worked at a coroner's office for a while and once we had a guy who we thought had died from an odd on meth. Well we started the autopsy and I went to cut his lungs out and blueberry muffin mix started coming out of them. I stuck my finger in his mouth and it was full of blueberry muffin mix. And it was in throat. Turns out he got just high enough to pass out while eating the muffin mix and he ended up choking to death. I did the autopsy of both the robber and his victim. The robber shot the victim in the back when he tried to escape in a motorcycle, and the robber was shot by the police in the exact same situation. What's interesting is that they both died by exactly the same lesion. Both of them had their fourth lumbar vertebra shattered in their aorta, main artery of the body, sectioned at the same level. I thought of it like an extreme example of instant karma. Worked at an animal hospital. They did autopsies for zoos all the time. An alligator died, and they shipped it to the hospital, refrigerated etc. to stop the decay. They took it out and put it up on the table. After doing all the paperwork, they started opening up the alligator. After the first cut, the alligator opened its eyes. Turns out it wasn't dead, the hospital vet mistook an illness for death and the low temperature put it basically into a coma. During my internship rotation a couple of years back, a 40-year-old guy came in because he suddenly collapsed while drinking with friends. He came in unresponsive, mouth bleeding, and not breathing, so we had to intubate him. For some reason, the endotracheal tube, the stiff tube placed inside the trachea to help the patient breathe, won't go in, but we managed to suction copious amounts of blood clots. After CPR, still with unsuccessful intubation so we had to bag him with a face mask, the patient was declared dead, and diagnosed with a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm. During the autopsy, they found out that the guy was apparently shot by a gun from the top of the head, the entry wound was obscured by his hair, and was barely bleeding at all, and the bullet somehow went through the back of the guy's throat and made a hole behind the base of the tongue, which the endotracheal tube kept slipping into. When my parents were in medical school they attended an autopsy of a patient who had died in a car accident autopsy revealed that apparently this guy had survived a chest shot in Vietnam years ago that the surgeon slash medics left in rather than perform risky surgery, the accident had migrated the bullet to his heart and was ruled the cause of death. A body came in with a gunshot wound to the chest. There was no exit wound. They tried to locate the bullet during the autopsy. No success. They then did a whole scan, x-ray or CT, of the upper chest slash abdomen slash pelvis. No bullet doubt at that point someone said duck it let's scan the whole body. Lo and behold the bullet was detected in the popliteal fossa, area behind the knee. It had traveled from the heart all the way down the arterial system to the knee where it got stuck in one of the narrower blood vessels. My grandmother had a massive stroke in her 30s that paralyzed her entire left side, and died in her 60s from a heart attack. But while doing the autopsy they found out she had bad lung cancer, but she never had any pain from it because it was in her left lung. She was a very heavy smoker, so it made sense, it's just crazy that she had lung cancer and never knew. Not a doctor, but a whole body scientific donation technician. I'm the person who dissects cadavers after they were donated. We very commonly would get young cases, normally overdoses. Had a mid-30s female. Went to medical examiner prior to donation, but they only did an external evaluation. I went to check her genitals to see if I could palpate a uterus, found a condom full of pills. Similar to most, the body became a crime scene and we couldn't touch her. When we finally were able to continue, they asked us to photograph the pills to send to the examiner's office. They were mostly Advil and Zyrtec, easily one of the weirdest things I've ever found. My wife is a pathologist assistant and during her schooling carried out the autopsy of a newborn that died minutes after birth. The mother was desperate for a child and had a history of multiple miscarriages at different terms. This was her first time making it full term and all prenatal checkups revealed no problems. The delivery was difficult, but successful, and baby was alive for a short time. Skip to autopsy. All signs point to baby being fully developed. Get to the abdominal cavity and the liver is lacerated and hemorrhage everywhere. During the difficult delivery the resident used too much force with the forceps to pull the baby out. The ruptured liver that caused the baby to bleed out internally. Wife was enthusiastic about autopsy up to this point, now has no interest. Not exactly any autopsy per se, but
but it was a patient found unresponsive, with CPR in progress by EMS. The man was clearly homeless, based on his appearance and smell. He reportedly had not been seen for several days by his friends, and was eventually found behind a fast food restaurant dumpster. We were briefly able to get a pulse back, and when the nurse cut his pants off to place a catheter we saw the cause, he had fashioned some sort of makeshift cock ring out of the neck of a plastic bottle. It was way too tight and completely cut off the circulation, the penis was fully black and necrotic. I did a bedside ultrasound and found his abdomen full of free fluid, which is bad, most likely his bladder had ruptured from being unable to urinate for days. His labs suggested he was in septic shock and full-blown renal failure as well. He did not survive much longer than that. My dad used to perform autopsies. His best story was that they were brought a body that has no real indication of any issues. After examining the body, the only thing of note was that there was blood coming out of the guy's rectum. They begin the autopsy and the guy's organs are completely liquefied and the body cavity is filled with lead shot. It became apparent really quickly that someone had shoved a shotgun up his ass and pulled the trigger. This was in the 70s and I still have to wonder what this guy did to piss someone off enough to get a shotgun up his ass. I was a forensic tech for a state medical examiner's office for about two years. I've assisted in about 1000 autopsies and have removed bodies from scenes from likely twice that dot I have a few takeaways, man who had a psychotic break and castrated himself and stuffed it all into this mouth before cutting his own throat. Man who was sodomized to death with a broom, a baseball bat, and the tuning end of a guitar. Man who decapitated himself by hanging himself with high tension cable and jumping off a bridge. Woman overdosing whilst carrying an 8 month pregnancy. No really any major revelations like in terms of something wild unexpected or a medical finding that contradicts the police report. Just seen enough shit in one lifetime for 100 people. My friend had to do an autopsy on a baby. The dad claimed she died after rolling off a couch. My friend found that the kid was slammed against a hard surface multiple times. Dad eventually admitted he hit the baby against the wall after she wouldn't stop crying. My friend had to quit the job cause it was so taxing mentally. I am a pre-med student and one time while shadowing a forensic pathologist, three days before Christmas, he was doing an autopsy on an automobile versus pedestrian accident. The man's face was completely smashed in. When they take samples of the brain they cut the skin, pull it over the face, and they cut off the top of the skull. When they did that the skull was basically shattered and bone fragments pulled back with the skin and when they cut off the skull cap, the brain was obviously damaged and the eyeballs had been pushed back slash fallen through the orbits and into the cranial cavity. The guy also had $10,000 in cash in his jean pockets. According to police he had a record involving drugs so the theory was either a drug deal gone bad or he stumbled into the road while under the influence. While in medical school, we had to observe an autopsy and could assist. One of the lectures was to observe for head trauma. You do this by hitting the skull with a hard object, scissor or the like. A hollow sound is normal but a dull sound indicates trauma. One of the other students did this exam and found a dull sound. The coroner had not yet himself examined the person and was very surprised, as he had not been informed by the police of head trauma. They then continued to examine the head and they found a gunshot wound through the skull. All of a sudden the person was a crime scene and they had to call the police again and leave the person as untouched as possible. I believe it was later confirmed that the person had shot himself, but it could have been a murder. I took forensic lectures so I saw quite a bit of crazy shit, but the things that stick is an autopsy revealing a history of abuse, pain and violence. A little more funny, a skeleton was found in the near mountains, it was very clear he died in an accident 20 plus years ago, however he had to be identified via DNA. Turned out his dad was not his dad, but his uncle. Sparked a whole public family drama show, cause the family was well known in my area. I'm a veterinarian and sometimes I do necropsy, basically autopsy for animals, and one of the more notable case involved a prized Wagyu cow that died mysteriously. Wagyu cows are very expensive to rear and fetch a good price at the slaughterhouse. After cutting her open, I found metal wires extending from her stomach into her heart. It's what we call hardware disease. Apparently the cow decided that eating metal wires for constructing fences was a good idea. Normally the farmhands are quite good at keeping these hazards away from the inquisitive bovines but I guess slip-up do happen from time to time. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams.
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.